Hello and welcome to the Atomic Kingdom YouTube channel. My name is Dave. It is Wednesday, so that means it is a Star Wars unboxing day. We got a good one. Came through the door this week. Uh, weeks before now, the actual game is set to come out. We've got uh, Star Wars Jedi Survivor. We've got another Cal Kestis figure. This will be the third figure he's gotten from the game, I believe. Um, I mean, there's not a whole lot of figures to, to produce from this game. He's the main character. Uh, there is, he's got kind of a crew on a ship in the first game. They could release those, which they haven't. They've done like stormtroopers and droids, and I think, and stuff like that, but mostly stormtroopers um, from the game, I think. That's about it. But uh, here it is. Yeah, the game is set to come out April 28th. Uh, so we're almost there. As of today, there are one more episode. <laughs> there is one more episode left of uh, The Mandalorian. So that's the finale of season three is already here, which is unreal. We've got a lot of coverage from Star Wars Celebration over the past week. Um, all kinds of updates on the Ahsoka show. A new trailer for that, which looked amazing. Uh, we got updates on the Acolyte, uh, things like that. And boy, I tell you, three new Star Wars movies coming soon. One directed by James Mangold, who just finished up with uh, Indiana Jones. And we've got the Dave Filoni film, which combines all of his TV series in this culmination of a film. And then we've got a third film, which I think is directed by the woman who was doing Miss Marvel or the next Captain America or Captain Marvel movie. I'm not 100 percent sure what she's done in the past. And I forget her name right now. I apologize. But this is set like 13 or 18 years after the rise of Skywalker, and it sees Ray Skywalker starting up a brand new Jedi uh, Academy or she's she's starting the Jedi over apparently uh, which it didn't seem like was necessary or a good idea or in the direction that they were going with the Jedi at least from what I was gleaning but I guess they still need the Jedi but the James Mangold movie sounds outstanding uh, they said it's like very biblical as far as it's about the first Jedi uh, this is set during the High Republic era Many, 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 many years before the Skywalker saga, which is before, you know, the the Phantom Menace and all of that. So many, many, many years before that, even before the Old Republic time, I believe. So, but enough about that. Yes, this is uh, the video game uh, companion figure for Jedi Survivor. We've got the plastic free packaging here. Uh, we do have you know, a nice little glamour shot on the side. Cool look on that side. We got a nice... A no rendering of what the figure is you kind of get an idea of what's inside there and then we've got another figure picture and a go in a blurb we got a blurb here so probably not too much really spoilers for the game uh one of the last surviving members of the jedi order cal kestis and his valiant droid companion bd1 openly resist the growing power and domination of the evil galactic empire great game the first one uh jedi uh, uh outcast called i <laughs> know uh, jedi fallen order uh, star wars jedi fallen order that's it um so this is the sequel to that game i love the first game first game was great um i sat through and actually played it through it um almost in one sitting which is something i haven't done in video games in a long time uh so let's get this guy open see what's inside the the cardboard packaging and we'll go from there so in our first little parchment bag they're sealed now rip that open Got another piece of cardboard. We've got BD1, who instantly became one of my favorite droids. Love BD1. And the fact that he's pretty much like a backpack companion. Outstanding figure, or outstanding droid design and figure. Uh, we got to look at another one, I think, in um, Mandalorian. I think working on Tatooine in the garage there. Which is pretty fun this this version is red in the game you can kind of customize how bd looks so that's cool got another bd so that's two things i have in my collection now maybe, maybe even three <clears throat> all right so this one has got our weapons The blue lightsaber with the now fully uh, fixed hilt. It is a, it is a double hilt um, as well. And you can pull that off. Like with uh, 
most of these these days. So you can have them just holding the hilt if you want. And then we've got the blaster. He is the Jedi that comes with the blaster. All right, let's get him out of his parchment. Let's take a look at him. Nice look, clean look now. He's not so much of a, an outcast on a planet, uh, working refineries and well, just like mostly ripping apart old ships for parts, I guess, maybe. Um, this is a good looking figure. This is a good looking figure. Um, if there's somebody I want to see enter the, the live action world of maybe the Obi-Wan series or something of that nature, I think he'd be too old in um, the Mandalorian era that the actor probably couldn't portray him. Maybe, but this is a really good actor, so um, I, I would love to see him get some live action work, but you know, I don't know, I don't know what you're going to get. Um, but he's got a cool vest. The actor has said he likes wearing ponchos now because of the, because of the game. Um, but cool wristband colors are very good very very pop um it's got a kind of a kind of a, a, a rogue look to him like a scoundrel almost like a smuggler but also he's got the jedi the jedi look to it oh, there's a little button here on the belt you can put the hilt if you wish you can put it here as well looks like no there's no that's not a little just raise a little bit yeah he's got a he's got a gunslinger belt which is kind of cool I like that. You uh, stand toe to toe with with anyone. <laughs> Very cool looking figure. I like this a lot. This is uh, instantly, instantly uh, one one I enjoy. I like this character a lot. I like the story a lot, and uh, I'm psyched to see where we go from here. ready to go lightsaber above hand on the holster let's do this empire i'm ready for you and uh this new new game looks great store looks great can't wait to play it um that's gonna do it for us i highly recommend this figure if you can get it it's out there it is out there you can get them the link is in the description below if you want to pick them up from entertainment earth that is where i got mine uh, so go get them they're out there now um i have not seen them in stores yet but i'm sure they're coming very very soon so you can pick him up there as well uh atomicgeekdom.com for all of your atomic geekdom needs everything's there our podcasts our articles our videos get posted there as well but mostly if you want our videos subscribe here on youtube hit that uh hit that subscribe button keep the alarm button activated you'll get notified every single time a video goes live we've got all kinds of new content almost every single day of the week now on our youtube page so Stay tuned for all of that awesome stuff um, at Atomic Geekdom on all the social medias. You can find us all at all of those places. Thank you, Kyle, for editing this week's episodes. And I will see you guys on the next one. Be good to each other. Take care. Bye-bye.